Every piece of IT hardware in your organization holds the potential to either drive your business forward or drag it down with unexpected costs and inefficiencies. Hardware Asset Management, or HAM, seeks to not only keep track of these assets, but also strategically manage these resources to reduce expenses, ensure availability for critical operations, and maintain full visibility over each component's life cycle. When done right, Hardware Asset Management becomes a cornerstone of streamlined, cost-effective business operations. HAM is the practice that looks after hardware assets of your IT assets inventory. Simply put, the practice keeps an eye on the physical components that make up your live environment, including desktops, laptops, servers, and network equipment through their whole life cycle, from procurement to retirement and recycling. When combining ITSM and ITAM software, HAM can reduce the cost of equipment and, at the same time, help solve incidents and service requests. By doing it properly, you will always have a definitive set of hardware in stock to distribute smartly across your organization and according to the requests arriving through your service desk. This can save time and prevent inconveniences for the end users. Implementing a hardware asset management strategy has multiple benefits, as you can imagine. Overall, it can help organizations optimize their hardware assets, providing a better balance between supply and demand. There's also cost savings. It helps organizations avoid unnecessary hardware purchases and reduces asset maintenance and support costs. Better Asset Lifecycle Management It helps manage the entire lifecycle of hardware assets in a structured and efficient way so that nothing gets lost, ignored, or forgotten about. We've all heard horror stories about zombie servers, servers in place taking up valuable time and resources because no one knows what they're being used for. Solid lifecycle management means that anything not being actively used is flagged and dealt with appropriately. It also provides improved business agility. It ensures that hardware assets are being used efficiently and effectively, which can increase productivity and reduce downtime. Better security and loss prevention. It gives organizations control over their hardware assets, reducing the risk of misplaced or lost hardware assets. Improved Compliance HAM can help ensure that hardware assets are being used in compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. Better Decision Making HAM provides organizations with accurate information about their hardware assets, which can help them make informed decisions about future investments and procurement activity. Hardware Asset Management needs a structured approach to effectively track monitor, and manage all IT hardware assets within an organization. When implementing HAM, here are some things to consider. Number one, keep it simple and practical. Let's borrow a guiding principle from ITIL here. Remember to keep it simple when spinning up your HAM practice. So many implementations fail because they're overly complicated and become too clunky to run effectively. When creating your HAM practice, remember that your process must be user-friendly. Because if your customers think that using it is too complicated, for example, when requesting equipment, this will result in lots of red tape, and they will circumvent it, causing you problems down the line. Number two, know your supporting players. Look at what is in place at the moment, and look at what can be used for HAM. We're not looking to reinvent the wheel here, so work smart, not hard. Do all hardware requests go through the service desk? Is there a request fulfillment process you can link into? Is the procurement process centralized? Can new hardware be deployed as part of release management? Number three, identify and document all hardware assets. This is the part that will take the most time and hard work, but it's important to do this if you want to do HAM properly. The first step is to identify and document all the hardware assets within the organization. This includes computers, servers, printers, and other peripherals. It is essential to maintain accurate records of all hardware assets, including their location, serial number, purchase date, warranty information, and maintenance history. Number four, use asset tracking software. Use asset tracking software to manage all hardware assets. The software should provide real-time updates on each asset's location, status, and maintenance history. A piece of asset management software like Infigate Insight will not only provide you with asset tracking features, but also software asset management capabilities. And it's natively integrated with Infigate Service Desk to make the whole IT support team's activities run a whole lot smoother. Number five, conduct regular audits. Conduct regular audits of hardware assets to ensure accurate records and identify any missing or unaccounted for assets. This will ensure the data you hold in your asset databases matches what is present in your IT environment. 
As everything in the IT world, it's not only crucial to have processes in place, but to also monitor them constantly. Thus, here are some key ITAM key performance indicators, or KPIs, to help you manage your new HAM practice. Hardware utilization. It measures the percentage of time that hardware assets are in use. This metric helps to identify underused hardware assets that can be redeployed or retired. Total cost of ownership, TCO. It measures the total cost of owning and maintaining hardware assets. It includes metrics such as purchase price, support and maintenance, and disposal costs. Asset lifecycle. It tracks the lifespan of hardware assets from the request stage to disposal. It helps to track assets that require upgrading, replacement, or retirement. Mean time between failure, or MTBF. It measures the average time between hardware asset failures. It helps to determine potential maintenance issues or recurring faults that are candidates for further investigation via the problem management practice. Asset maintenance. It measures the percentage of hardware assets that are serviced and maintained according to their schedule or support contracts. It helps to identify potential maintenance issues and improve the longevity of hardware assets. Asset accuracy. It measures the accuracy of the hardware asset database. It helps to identify missing, lost, or stolen assets. Security compliance. It measures the compliance of hardware assets with security policies and regulations. It helps to find potential security breaches and improve the security of hardware assets. Process cohesiveness. It measures how the individual processes aligning with HAM support each other effectively. The processes include incident, request, and financial management, change enablement, release management, and information security management. Hardware asset management is part of the overall ITAM practice, and it can help you manage, control, track, and protect the hardware assets in your IT estate. In order to manage your IT assets effectively, you need both SAM, Software Asset Management, and HAM, Hardware Asset Management, to be working together. Remember when implementing HAM, it needs to be able to manage assets throughout their entire life cycle. It's essential to have structured plans in place so that nothing is missed or forgotten about, and the right KPIs and performance metrics will help your HAM practice stay on track. Do you have any insights on this topic? Feel free to share them in the comments below. And remember to like the video and subscribe to Imkit Academy for more insights into the world of service management.